Hello, my name is Tom Cowling. I'm sales director for Zanview. We're a British technology company and we're focused on creating powerful yet simple to use software solutions for the security and video surveillance market. Our Internet of Things cloud platform is proving extremely popular both with installers and their customers. And one of the key reasons is it's incredibly simple to use and set up. We're going to run through the commissioning of a system today with you. OK, we're going to talk through the components now. And this is a time box. It's a time box 5, which means it's able to record up to five high definition cameras. Also included in the box, we have a quick start guide, which tells you everything you need to know about how to set up the system, which is what we're doing today. We also have a mounting plate, which you can use to optionally mount the, the unit uh, and fix it in place. And then there's a power supply and also a network cable. We also have a range of other units of different sizes from small deployable two camera units like this one, right up to traditional rack mounted units, which can be up to 50 cameras in size. Uh, for full details of all of our equipment, please take a look at our website. The key concept to understand with Zanview is the timeline. Every customer gets their own timeline to log into. That timeline gives them access to a single time box or multiple time boxes, and that could be a single site or multiple sites. It's a very, very flexible solution. Each individual time box is responsible for recording video and performing a lot of the sophisticated and complex tasks that the system provides. As well as this, it also provides a secure and encrypted connection out to our cloud. Looking at the other components that you need to set up a Zanview system, firstly, you're going to need, obviously, some cameras. We're going to be looking at IP cameras today and how you commission an IP system. You also need an internet connection. This is vital for setting up the Zanview system, but it could be a broadband connection. It could also be a 3G or a 4G connection via a, a router. Uh, and the system works perfectly fine in this way. In addition, you're going to need a tablet PC, a smartphone or a laptop in order to gain access to the software and set the system up. Although we're looking specifically at connecting to an IP camera system in this case, we can also do much more. And the system is capable of connecting to existing MVRs, existing DVRs, so potentially bringing old analog systems onto the same platform as a new IP camera installation. This makes it extremely powerful for connecting up old legacy systems, systems from different manufacturers and on different sites, and bring it all together on one platform. We're going to run through the setup process now. And the first thing you're going to want to do is to connect up all of the individual components together. So we've got our network switch in the middle here. And we're going to connect one of our network cables for our camera and connect up our camera. Second thing we're going to do is to connect our time box itself. And then finally, we connect our time box for power. Once you've got all of your components connected, the next thing you want to do is go to our website. So simply type in Zanview. And then you'll see at the top of the screen is a small button that says activate your time box. Click on this and it will take you to the setup page. Then we take our quick start guide and on the quick start guide or on the bottom of the time box, you'll find a serial number. Now simply type in your serial number, agree the terms and conditions and click next. Now you have a choice of adding the time box to an existing timeline. So if you have an existing customer and you're adding this time box to that customer's site or creating a brand new timeline. In this case, we'll create a new one and we'll just give it a logical name. In this case, demo record and click next. Now the system asks for location details. So the name of the location that you're going to install it and also the address information. So we type this in. We were also asked a couple of questions. So where is the system being used? What kind of site? And is it a new install or is it a addition to an existing installation? 
We're also asked if it's a single site install or part of a chain, for example, a retail chain. Then we click Activate. We then have a number of options. We can add cameras to our timeline, we can add users, check our time box status, etc, etc. Or we can go to an email which we're sent automatically, which gives us a link straight to our new timeline, where we can also perform these functions. Simply click the link and it will take you straight into your brand new timeline. From here, we go to admin, in the top right hand corner, and we'll set up our camera. It should have automatically detected and here it is. And all we have to do is switch it to on. We can see that it's just appeared online and we can check that the camera is working correctly by going to the live view and choosing one of the drop downs and selecting the camera. And here's our camera working perfectly. One of the reasons you need an internet connection for a time box is that we monitor the health of the system. So we're monitoring the cameras, we're monitoring the hard drive for any failure, any drop off of the system. And we can alert you to that instantly. The other reason is that we perform a backup of the configuration of the time box up in the cloud. So we keep that safe. So if anything were to happen to your time box, if it was destroyed, we could replace it very, very quickly with the original configuration. So it's that simple. At Zamview, we strongly believe in convention over configuration. In 90% of cases, there are no need to make any changes to further settings for the cameras or for the system setup. No need to format hard drives or any of the other things that you may be used to doing uh, with your traditional setups. However, if you do want to make those changes, we make that simple too. It's possible to tunnel directly to a camera remotely so you can make changes post-install to frame rates or any other settings that you have on the system. So we really try to make your life as easy as possible. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please check out some of our other videos that help you get the best out of your Zambu system. Thank you.